a.m. And I'm going to start my coffee to get my day going. I'm going to fill my coffee pot to about the 10 mark. And I just want to make sure that I completely dumped it out last night when I put out my pot. It looks like I did. Pick it up here. You pour the coffee into the pot. Let the water run about two minutes after it sits all night long. Put the spices back here just for a second. Got new garlic yesterday. I'm very excited about that for dinner tonight. I'm going to get out my coffee filter. Out one of these for my sixth grader's backpack for her school snack. We made chocolate chip cookies yesterday. The peel and bakes by Toll House they come out really well. If you put parchment paper down in the bottom of the pan, they don't burn. coffee today. I save these for storage. They're very useful. It's free storage. Don't throw away free storage. Okay. Medium ground coffee. Love the smell of brand new coffee when you open up the can. There you go. Put my scoop back in. Make sure it's up tightly. Now I'm going to put my coffee maker to strong. Because I like it to taste like a restaurant. Start my garbage bag. For the morning, and I'm going to make my teenagers sandwich for. Quest star today. We've got both these every day.
is a new jar here. my bread and the jelly out of the fridge. Looks like I may have to take everything out of my fridge one of these days and do a video on organizing and cleaning it. Bread ties first thing in the morning before coffee can be very tricky. I'm going to take the bread. My youngest buys her lunch every day. Today's a school day for her. I will be getting her up around 7.30 so she's ready for the 8.20 school bus. Okay, now I'm going to get the sandwich together. And then I'm going to finish getting some snacks. She's got a long day. She gets to the high school for track about 3.35, 3, She's a few minutes late. Coach is okay with that. doesn't like too sweet. I'm going to put some of the cheddar crackers in her lunch here. I can get in the bag. this without my coffee that you can hear brewing in the background here. A couple of bags out. Some for the sandwich. We get these from the Dollar Tree. They're very good. And an apple. And it's going to be for her. She gets lunch at school, but she goes to Quest Star and then she has track. And then she doesn't have dinner until 5 o'clock at night. And tonight that is going to be homemade spaghetti sauce because I got a bunch of tomatoes from the garden from my in law's house. And I only got a couple of cookies left. She's not really big on sweets and she's got donuts, so I'm going to split them up and give just one for her. Pop that in the sink. And I'm going to turn you around this way. I am going to put away some dishes. From dinner last night. That way when I do my clean video later, I can just out the sink and get my garbage bowl ready. My garbage bowl is usually a colander. Garbage 
vegetables, There's usually a colander. And my old ones, I have about four of them that I use to discard scraps and packages as I'm cooking. I'll just pick that up by itself. box coffee mug that I had picked up at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to need this attachment because I'm going to be crushing tomatoes for the tomato sauce. I'm going to be making from scratch tomato sauce. garden. They're nice and big and beautiful red. So I'm that out. My counter is just a little cluttery this morning and I apologize. I hate cluttery counters. Alright. I reuse my Ziploc bags. Slightly wet. Try one more. That one's slightly wet too. I have some leftover French bread from Walmart. So I think I'm gonna make a pot of French onion soup later for lunch. That sounds like a plan. That way I can use up the French bread and it doesn't go to waste, but it, even if I did not use the rest of it, my squirrel and my blue jay would eat it. works your job so we had a couple of beers just to relax. Put my attachment up here now. This little bit of dishes. So my sink is nice and clean for when I start my cooking video later. I'm gonna rinse off the coffee container. I love using these for storage. I keep my sugar in them. Flour, brown sugar. When they're empty. Just give them a nice rinse. I don't have a dishwasher who still do things by hand.
light down. very smart. She's now chewing on her cardboard to make her mulch. In the African Asian countries, they used the wild gerbils to sniff out bombs from terrorists because they're tiny and undetected to terrorism. They know their name. They know their owner. They like to take dirt baths. But we do give her a little wash a couple times a week. Keep her well hygiene. Nothing too wet or anything, just a light clean to keep her fur nice and shiny. But if you like my video, please like it. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends and family. I'm going to go get my coffee and I'm going to let her chew. Have a great day.